When examining a map, one can observe that Saudi Arabia, although slightly over one-fifth the size of the United States, ranks as the world's 14th largest country in terms of land area, encompassing 2.14 million square kilometers. Remarkably, this area is nearly equivalent to that of Western Europe. The establishment of the Kingdom of Saudi Arabia dates back to September 1932 when King Abdulaziz, also known as Ibn Saud, declared its formation. Notably, Saudi Arabia stands out as a country devoid of any permanent rivers, with an annual rainfall averaging below 150 millimeters. However, an intriguing phenomenon is transpiring within the vast deserts of the kingdom. Initially, only 400 square kilometers of fertile land existed in Saudi Arabia during the early 1960s. Astonishingly, the country has since developed an extensive agricultural network comprising distinctively designed fields. This innovative approach has enabled farmers to cultivate a wide array of crops and fruits. Witnessing the transformation of this once barren desert into a thriving green forest is undeniably awe-inspiring. The question arises, how did Saudi Arabia manage to achieve this remarkable feat? To comprehend the expansion of arable land within such a brief time frame, one cannot help but ponder the methods employed by Saudi Arabia. In the early 1960s, the country possessed a mere 400 square kilometers of cultivable land. Presently, Saudi Arabia boasts an expansive 35,000 square kilometers of arable land, surpassing the Netherlands in size and exceeding Qatar's area by more than threefold. This rapid expansion of cultivable land remains a source of curiosity. Over the past three decades, Saudi Arabia's agricultural progress has been nothing short of astounding. Such accomplishments become even more impressive when considering that the country receives an average annual rainfall of a mere four inches, one of the lowest rates globally. Saudi Arabia, known for possessing the largest oil reserves worldwide, made a significant discovery in March of 1938 when oil was found in the dam oil field at a depth of 1,440 meters. Presently, the country holds approximately 17% of the global proven petroleum reserves. Interestingly, in Saudi Arabia, the cost of one liter of drinkable water exceeds that of one liter of oil. With an estimated 75 billion barrels of oil remaining, the Gawa oil field stands as the largest oil resource globally. To provide a sense of scale, this oil field has reserves equivalent to filling 4,770,897 Olympic-sized swimming pools. This stark comparison emphasizes the water scarcity issue in Saudi Arabia. However, despite water challenges, Saudi Arabia has become a significant exporter of various agricultural products to international markets. Wheat, dates, dairy products, eggs, fish, poultry, fruits, vegetables, and flowers are among the commodities exported. Dates, which were traditionally a staple in the Saudi diet, are now primarily cultivated for humanitarian aid purposes worldwide. This transformation in agricultural practices is quite remarkable considering that prior to the 1970s, most agricultural activities in the Arabian Peninsula were centered around date cultivation and small-scale vegetable production within oasis regions. Additionally, Food for local inhabitants was sourced from small plots, and any surplus was sold to passing caravans. The kingdom's agricultural development initiatives were introduced by the government in the 1970s, focusing on promoting modern farming technologies and improving rural infrastructure. As a result, the production of staple foods experienced a dramatic increase, revolutionizing the agricultural landscape of Saudi Arabia. Thanks to abundant meat, milk, and egg production, Saudi Arabia has achieved complete self-sufficiency in several essential commodities. Consequently, the country has witnessed a corresponding decline in food imports while simultaneously expanding its exports of wheat, dates, dairy products, eggs, fish, and chicken to global markets. During the early stages of this program, significant efforts were made to establish intensive dairy, meat, poultry, and egg production. By 1985, Local farms had successfully met the domestic demand for various previously imported items. Today, Saudi Arabia boasts some of the largest and most advanced dairy farms in the Middle East, with an impressive annual milk production rate reaching 1,800 gallons per cow. 
The private sector has also been investing in aquaculture, supported by government initiatives. The number of fish farms, both in the sea and on land, has been steadily increasing, predominantly along the Red Sea coast of Saudi Arabia. Notably, shrimp farming has experienced notable success, with a prominent shrimp farm south of Jeddah run by Saudi hydrologists and marine engineers. The farm primarily cultivates the prized black tiger shrimp, which finds its way to markets in the United States and Japan through Saudi Arabia's national shrimp company, Al Rubian. Among Saudi Arabia's noteworthy agricultural achievements, its swift transition from a wheat importer to a wheat exporter has garnered global recognition. The country's first grain silos were constructed in 1978, and by 1984, it had attained self-sufficiency in wheat production. This remarkable accomplishment has solidified Saudi Arabia's position as a prominent player in the international wheat market. Following Saudi Arabia's agricultural revolution, the country swiftly expanded its wheat exports to around 30 nations, including China and the former Soviet Union. The major producing districts of Tepic, Hale, and Qazim achieved impressive average yields of 3.6 tons per acre. In addition to wheat, Saudi farmers also cultivated substantial quantities of barley, sorghum, and millet. However, in recent years, the production of wheat and other grains has been significantly reduced to conserve valuable water resources. Improved farming and transportation methods have played a crucial role in boosting fruit and vegetable production in Saudi Arabia. The country now ships substantial quantities of produce to other nations in the region. Watermelon, grapes, citrus fruits, onions, squash, and tomatoes rank among Saudi Arabia's most abundant agricultural products. Furthermore, in the well-watered southwestern region of Saudi Arabia, specifically at the al hikmar research station in Jazan, tropical fruits like pineapples, pawpaws, bananas, mangoes, and guavas are successfully cultivated. As a result of this agricultural revolution, Saudi Arabia has witnessed the emergence of a diverse range of indigenous cuisines that were unimaginable just a few generations ago. While dates no longer serve as the primary source of nutrition, they still hold significant importance as a dietary supplement. With an annual production of approximately half a million tons and 450 distinct varieties, dates are used for humanitarian aid purposes worldwide. Notably, there are dedicated factories, such as the one in Al Hassa, solely focused on producing dates for foreign aid. These factories donate tens of thousands of tons of dates each year, primarily through the United Nations Food and Agriculture Organization's World Food Program WFP, to alleviate famine and food shortages. Numerous countries have directly benefited from Saudi Arabia's food aid provided through the World Food Program, where Saudi Arabia stands as the second largest contributor, following the United States. The growth of Saudi Arabia's agricultural sectors in recent times has been facilitated by various government programs. These programs include the provision of interest-free loans, technical support services, and a range of incentives. The agriculture industry has also received assistance through low-cost water, fuel, and power, as well as duty-free imports of raw materials and machinery. Moreover, foreign joint venture partners, whether individuals or firms from Saudi Arabia, are exempted from taxes for up to 10 years, and investment regulations introduced since April 2000 offer additional incentives. The Ministry of Agriculture plays a pivotal role in implementing agricultural policies, conducting research, and providing extension services to farmers. The Saudi Agricultural Bank, known as Saab, offers subsidies and interest-free loans as an aid institution. Additionally, the Grain Silos and Flour Mills Organization, established in 1972, contributes to the development of agriculture by purchasing and storing wheat, constructing flour mills, and producing animal feed. Saudi Arabia has made significant investments in modernizing highways that connect agricultural regions to major markets, facilitating transportation and distribution. The government continues to support new farmers in implementing capital-intensive projects, with a focus on diversification and improved efficiency, as part of the development plans aimed at boosting farm output. Furthermore, the government actively funds and supports research programs focused on developing food crops, increasing yields, and cultivating pest-resistant plant strains. 
Collaboration between local farmers and scientists takes place in agricultural research facilities at Saudi Arabian universities and institutions. These initiatives aim to enhance agricultural practices and address challenges faced by the sector, ensuring a sustainable and prosperous future for Saudi Arabia's agriculture. Saudi Arabia is home to the Ruba Al Khali, the world's largest continuous sand desert, spanning an impressive 650,000 square kilometers. To put its size into perspective, it is larger than the combined areas of Holland, Belgium, and France. The sand dunes in this desert reach astonishing heights of 250 meters, adding to its grandeur. Although Saudi Arabia lacks rivers, it compensates with a vast coastline stretching from the Persian Gulf to the Red Sea. However, rapid development and increased water consumption have made water a limited and highly valuable resource in the country. To meet its growing water needs, Saudi Arabia relies heavily on aquifers, large underground lakes, and reservoirs that store water. In the 1970s, the government invested significant efforts to identify, map, and estimate the capacity of these aquifers. This led to the drilling of tens of thousands of deep tube wells in promising urban and agricultural areas. Additionally, desalination plays a crucial role in water supply as saline seawater is converted into potable water. Saudi Arabia leads the world in desalinated water production, with the Saline Water Conversion Corporation SWCC, operating 27 desalination plants that generate over 3 million cubic meters of potable water daily. These plants cater to more than 70% of water consumed in cities and fulfill a significant portion of industrial water requirements. They also serve as a significant source of electric power. In line with sustainable practices, Saudi Arabia is increasingly relying on recycled water. At least 40% of domestic water in urban areas is recycled, and recycling factories have been established in major cities like Riyadh and Jeddah, as well as other industrial centers. Recycled water is used for irrigation in farm fields and urban parks, further optimizing water usage. The concerted efforts to address water scarcity have transformed vast stretches of the desert into productive farmland. From less than 400,000 acres of arable land in 1976, Saudi Arabia now boasts millions of acres of fertile land in the 21st century. The agricultural progress in Saudi Arabia is a remarkable achievement, considering the challenging arid conditions and limited water resources. Share your thoughts on this impressive transformation in the comments section below.